Okay, so let's talk about the impenetrable fortress that is plastic. So this is a very small bag because I need to make bags. I don't have any that are bigger, so this is what we're working with right now. And this comes up more often than it should. So I was going to make a video a while ago, but I did not. So here we are. So let's talk about plastic. Somebody said to me just today, which is why I'm making this video, because I can't have this conversation again, because people are not thinking, and it's not their fault, because they're being taught a certain thing, and that certain thing is being propagated as scripture. But here's the thing. This is a one-way injection port. It's self-healing self rubber, and people are putting them inside bags, right? And then you inject into the bag for convenience. It's not required. It's not required. And somehow people think that because there's no injection port on a bag that it can't be used. And so they're dumping it into a tub, making it pretty purposeless and pointless to even use a bag in the first place. So I just want to know, what is it about the injection port being on a bag that makes people think that plastic is impenetrable? Because it's not. It's a metal sharp object. It can easily penetrate through the plastic. So I, I'm confused and I'm sad because people are using texts as crutches and not as assistance, which is a crutch is supposed to be for assistance, you know, to get you started so you can learn things, just to get the ball rolling. Instead, people believe that a, a, there must be an injection port on a bag because it's being sold like that. You know, the information is being sold like that. So I just want to really quickly show how to... And if you must inject, I don't even inject my bags. I just or cut the top off and I pour it straight in. But we'll do injection, injecting right now because that's what we're doing. So I'm just going to spray off my jar. The alcohol. And I don't use syringe filters. Never have, never will. Because I work under a flow hood. I don't need to. When I first started growing mushrooms, the thing that let me know very early on that people just parrot information that was said by other people was I was watching a video and there was a guy opening up a sterile needle just like this one. And out of the package, this is sterile. This is used in medicine. Like when doctors do surgery and they open up sterile packages, they aren't using a torch and flame sterilizing something that's already sterile. Well, in this video, I saw a guy open up a needle and then tell people, instruct people to flame sterilize it. And I was like, that's already sterile. And that's what I knew right away, that nobody's opening any kind of reputable sources. Nobody's using science. People are just sterilizing sterile shit already. So yeah, that doesn't make sense to me at all. So that's why I immediately started to question every single thing I saw or heard, because I'm like, mm -mm. any person that knows anything about sterile anything would know that that's already sterile. Why are you sterilizing it? Okay, we have some culture. Okay. So the first thing you want to do, you don't have an injection port on your bag. And I know this from experience, because way back in the day when I was doing this, before I had a flow hood, I was injecting bags that did not have injection ports. And so you want to spray down the bag with alcohol, wipe it, put a piece of micropore tape on it, And this is so you don't lose where you put your injection. So when you poke the hole in it, you're not searching all over the bag to see where the freaking hole is, because I've done that. I've lost the hole many, many times. Okay, and then spray that down. And you take your syringe. Poke it into there. And you inject however much you plan to inject. I'm using the whole syringe because I can. Now you see you have that hole right there. I don't know if you can see it. See the hole?
and that tells me where to put my next piece of tape. Cover up that hole. You can put five pieces of tape if you want. Might have a hard time sticking when it's wet. You can still put tape on there. Cover up the hole. And ta-da! No injection port needed. Pretty cool, right? Is this required to be on a bag for the bag to work? No, it is not. You can put tape down, poke your hole, do your injection, put more tape down, cover up the hole. And it's just as good. Only it doesn't allow for much airflow. So one thing you can do, you can allow some air to come into the bag because there needs to be airflow in there. You need airflow in there to be able to shake the bag. Not much coming in through that hole. Cover that hole up. Well, it'll be your original hole. You will be poking three holes in your bag. But I am. Okay, so if you hated this video, I'm sorry. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, please, and share with a friend. And please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.